So what's up, y'all? I'm back again with another video. Y'all know I come here every single day talking my mess. Today's topic is going to be really great. Today's topic is for my inspiring entrepreneurs. I'm going to give y'all the real, real quick. So the idea of entrepreneurship sounds great, right? Everybody says, be a boss. Everybody says, start a business. Everybody says, fire, you're nine to five. They say all of these beautiful things. But what they don't say is, entrepreneurship is hard as shit. Mentally and physically. Now, my question to you is, my inspiring entrepreneur, what do you do when you lose money, nothing is working out, everything is falling to shits, what do you do? Do you give up or do you stay strong? The idea of entrepreneurship sounds so great because a lot of people um, are Instagram influencers. They like to make it seem so peachy. It is a beautiful thing once you can master certain things. And by mastering certain things, I mean mastering your emotions, understanding that things will never be simple and sweet and peachy, understand that you will run into setbacks, you will run into failure, but we don't call it failure in business. We call it lessons. We call it setbacks that we learn from. So then going forward, we won't make the same mistakes. So they're not really failures, they're actually lessons. You have to be so mentally strong that if you decided to build a house and that house fell down the next day after all the work that all your contractors put in, you have to be able to walk away with a smile. You know, I like to be real, real with y'all. Like, I like to be real. I don't like to sugarcoat it. I like to get y'all to real me. I like to express my real experiences. So, man, I have had a lot of setbacks. I have learned a lot of lessons in business, okay? I have lost a lot of money paying for courses, paying for businesses, just doing things that literally set me back. But I did those things because at the time, that's what I felt like I needed to do. So when you're trying to jump in into like a business, you will have an idea. That idea may not work for you right away so you may move on to another idea which is nothing wrong with that but you move on to another idea and then that idea doesn't work out so then you move on to another one but you still got the loss from all the other ones because you was hopping around from business to business you have trauma you're nervous now you're scared you're uncomfortable you're unmotivated because it's like yo i tried this thing it didn't work i tried that thing it didn't work now i'm trying to do this thing it's not going to work so you already beat yourself up because you feel like it's not going to work because i already tried so you have to get over um putting yourself down because that's what we do as entrepreneurs whenever our stuff don't work out you have to overcome the idea of not making any money because you're, it's not guaranteed you're going to make money right away. I have done things where I didn't make money. I actually lost money and had to repay money. Like, nobody told me that was going to happen. I thought I was just going to jump in and get bread. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that all the time. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible because my dream is to become a very successful boss. Okay, period. Because I'm not working for nobody. And let me tell you all a secret. Okay, because this is something I wish I would have known. This is something I wish I would have done. You get you a mentor. Okay, I know it sounds easy and simple because it is. A mentor doesn't have to be a physical person. A mentor can be in a book. Okay, there are thousands of great people that walk this earth that are no longer with us. But they also left their spirit inside of a book. They left all their knowledge in a book. So you can literally get a book from anybody. If you want to if you want uh Warren Buffett to be a mentor, buy one of his books. Okay? People got this idea that a mentor has to be in your face every day. It would be great if they could be, but everybody does not have the money to afford one, and everyone does not ha have access to those type of mentors they want. So, start reading books. Getting around the right people. Start getting around the right people. If you're around the right people, it can teach you a lot of things that will definitely help you avoid setback. I did not have the right people around me starting out. And I still don't. Because I'm not going to talk to y'all as if my business is just great. Because it's not. It's cool. But shit. I still take loss. Okay? 
And we ain't even gonna talk about the loss that I have took recently. We ain't even gonna get into that. But I still take losses, okay? If I had a team of the right people, if I had some people that been in the game forever and they was just scolding me on what to do, I'm sure that I would have been a lot of better off i'm sure a lot of things that i've experienced that was negative i wouldn't have experienced i'm not saying that it would have stopped me 100 percent from taking a loss but it would have helped me avoid some of the losses the point i'm trying to make is this entrepreneurship is hard impossible no hard yes you need to be very motivated okay and honestly, quite frankly, motivation isn't even enough because it can fade. Motivation is simply excitement for the moment because of something that sparks some interest inside of you. You need to be committed. Let's say that. That word sounds much better than motivated. You have to be committed. You have to put everything that you have in your body into this business in order for this business to work out. If you're only kind of feeling it and you kind of committed, you're only going to kind of win. So you have to really be like, yo, this is what I want and I'm going to work on this every single day with all of me. Not half of me, but everything I got. You are 100% in control of the outcome of your business. If you give half, you're only going to get out half. If you give 10%, you're only going to get 10%. But if you give it 100%, because this is what you want, you're going to get 100% return back. Trust and believe. Every L I took was because I was not given 100%. Every setback I've experienced was because I wasn't given 100%. But I see the potential. I see what I can do. And I know how far I can get if I give something 100%. It's all about planning, understanding your why. Why are you even doing this thing? understanding where you're trying to go, knowing how much it's going to cost you, how much time you got, but all of those things matter. Figure all that out, you're going to be good.